If you're curious what a four month old does, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the major developmental milestones for a four month old coming up. Hello, beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, welcome. My name's Nicole. I'm a mama to two. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist as well as a certified lactation counselor. And this channel is geared to help make motherhood easier on you. So if that sounds like something you're into, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be covering the major developmental milestones of a four month old, but there's a couple of things that I love to remind parents before we dive in. First thing is that every baby is on their own timeline. So this is just what most babies are doing at the four month mark. It does not mean that your baby is behind if he or she is not doing all of these things yet. Likely you'll see your baby start to do a lot of these things in the coming days or weeks sometimes even months. So please don't stress. This is just to give you an idea of what your baby is working on. The second thing is I have a completely free developmental milestone chart in the description box below. So the developmental chart covers all of the major milestones from zero to 12 months of age in the five major categories of development. So fine motor, gross motor skills, language and cognitive skills, as well as social emotional skills. This is a great reference point just so you know what's coming up. You can print it out, put it on your fridge, and again, it's completely free. So if you're interested, click the link below. Okay, so now let's break down the major developmental milestones of a four month old. So when it comes to gross motor skills, your little one is having much more control of their head and their neck. It's pretty steady now and they can hold it in midline. So you're not worrying about supporting the back of their head or their neck nearly as much as they've gained a lot of strength in the area of their shoulder and neck muscles. Additionally, when you hold your baby upright and their feet are placed on a firm surface, they are able to bear weight through their legs. This may only be for a few seconds, but you're noticing that your little one is able to push down through their legs and they are bearing some weight through their feet and their legs when held upright and their feet are on a flat surface. So by four months, you might notice that your little one is beginning to roll from their stomach to their back. And I mentioned this in the previous milestone video that I did. Some babies do this completely out of sequence. It's nothing to be concerned about if your baby is working on different pieces of rolling. Again, it tends to be easier for babies to roll from their stomach to their back. But if your little one likes to go the other way around as Kai did, and many other babies do, that's awesome too. Also, you're probably noticing that when your baby is engaging in tummy time, they are starting to push up through their forearms. So instead of bearing weight mostly through their stomach and their chest, you'll likely notice that their arms are a bit in front of them and they're starting to push up through their forearms. When it comes to fine motor skills, you're likely noticing that your four month old is beginning to explore with their mouth and they're bringing hands and toys to their mouth and maybe sucking on them or exploring them orally. And another thing your four month old is likely beginning to do is starting to reach for items or if items are put in their hand, they are grasping the item and again, likely bringing that item to their mouth to explore. So when it comes to cognitive development, your little one responds to attention and affection, right? So you blow kisses, you give kisses, you might see smiles or hear coos and your little one is really starting to put the pieces together of I have hands and I can move my hands freely to reach for items that I'm interested in or that seem exciting. So again, your little one may be seeing something that interests them and they're realizing that they can grasp these items by moving their hand towards that item. Your four month old is likely pretty proficient at tracking items with their eyes. So if you move a toy in front of their visual field, they're likely able to follow it with both eyes. Your four month old is really taking an interest in faces and facial expressions. So you'll notice that your baby is starting to watch your facial expressions closely. They may even imitate smiles or frowns. They're starting to see the nuances in different facial expressions and they are responding to it. So at four months of age, you'll also likely notice that your baby is beginning to recognize family members or familiar faces from more of a distance. 
So when it comes to language or communication skills at four months of age, your little one might begin babbling and they're babbling with expression. So maybe they are playing with the tone or the pitch of their voice. I know Naya has started squealing and screaming very loudly because she's like, oh boy, I have a voice. And in this family, there are loud people. So I'm going to play with the volume of my voice and the pitch of my voice to get people's attention. And she's getting very proficient at that. Additionally, your little one is probably communicating different types of cries, right? So there's a cry for hunger, there's a cry for boredom, and there's likely a different cry for sleepiness or fatigue. And last but not least, we're going to cover social emotional development at four months. So at four months, again, your baby is really into facial expressions and you might see the imitation. You smile, your baby smiles. You laugh, your baby may giggle. Additionally, your baby may just smile spontaneously at people. So if something catches your baby's eye or they think it's cute or fun, you may see a big grin come across his or her face. And last but not least, your baby's becoming really playful and really enjoys playing and might even indicate to you that they don't want the playing to end. So maybe they start to cry or fuss when you stop engaging with your little one. So the last thing I like to cover during my developmental milestone videos are red flags. These are the things that you should be aware of. And if you feel like oh, my baby is not doing these things, you should definitely follow up with your pediatrician or medical team to have these concerns addressed. So if your baby is not watching items as they move across their visual field, if your baby is not yet smiling at people, if your baby is not yet able to hold his or her head steady, if you find that your baby is not making sounds, so your baby isn't cooing or making any vocalizations, if your baby is not yet bringing items to mouth, or if your baby is not yet bearing any weight on his or her legs, and finally, if you notice that your little one has difficulty moving their eyes in different directions, so left and right or up and down or diagonally. All right, my friend, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.